Hey hi this is Krubakaran Rajendran welcome to another video with Crow so in this video we are going to talk about a trading strategy with stocks so this is going to be a positional swing trading strategy where you just need to spend few minutes you know maximum 5 or 10 minutes a week in order to analyze which stocks to buy and which stocks to sell for the coming week so every weekend probably you know on Saturdays and Sundays if you could spend 10 to 15 minutes of your time this strategy would be really helpful for you where you can decide which stocks to buy and which stocks to sell based on certain predefined conditions so that is what we are going to see in this video so we i'll explain what are the rules of this specific strategy and how you could use this strategy to identify the right stocks to buy and right stocks to sell and i'll tell you the step by step rules to find out how you could implement this strategy So the first rule is we are going to move from an intraday time frame to a daily time frame to a weekly time frame because when you are dealing with you no know, a time frame that is lesser than a week specifically with the you no know, daily time frames or you no know, on intraday time frames the noise is going to be a lot higher so there will be you no know, times where the stock moves up and suddenly moves down there will be you know a lot of zigzag move due to which a clear trend would not be established and it is really hard to identify a trend with a lesser time frame so by moving to a weekly weekly time frame we are avoiding all this you no know, daily noises and it is much easier to identify a trend and get into a stock and also by moving to a weekly time frame the main thing is the number of trades would get reduced drastically because you don't need to get you, know, you won't get a lot of trades when you are trading with weekly time frame and this helps in reducing the overall transaction cost so let me explain the rules of the strategy So the first thing is we are shifting to weekly time frame and now we are going to execute this strategy on Monday. So by Friday like previous Friday we'll check what are the list of stocks where its weekly close price is greater than last two weeks high price. Say for an example if we are going to trade on Monday then by last Friday we will check by no end of the last Friday we will check what are the list of stocks that has closed on a weekly basis that has closed above last two weeks high price and similarly we'll sell the stocks where its weekly you no know, close price is closer below the last two weeks low price so that is the basic rules of the strategy so i'll explain again so the rules of the strategy is go long or buy when a stock weekly close price is higher than last two weeks high price similarly sell a stock where its weekly close price is below last two weeks low price so let's consider this example so the chart that you are seeing right now is axis bank chart on a weekly time frame so i did not add any indicators here so as per our rules we will buy if weekly close is greater than last two weeks high price so consider we are going to execute this strategy only on weekends so we are going to analyze it on weekends and execute it on monday so every monday we are going to enter into it so this week consider for an example in order to enter this week we would have considered the analysis by friday itself last friday itself so this is the last week close price so last week you know axis bank closed around 905 levels so this level is nothing but it checked what is the last two weeks high price so last two weeks high price is around 896 so this is the last two weeks high level and this is the last two weeks low level if we are calculating this range on last week friday so 892 is the high level and 845 is the low level so last friday we have to check where axis bank has closed so axis bank close price was 905 which is nothing but last two weeks high price which is 892 so axis bank closed at around 905 which is last two weeks high price hence we consider this as a buy signal and execute the strategy on monday morning so this is the rules for going long so basically find out what is the weekly close price if the weekly close price is higher than last two weeks high price we just enter so you do this calculation at the end of friday closing so only after the friday is closed we would know what is the weekly close levels and accordingly you can take decisions so i have created an indicator directly so based on these rules whatever the rules that i have explained i have created a point script in uh, trading view where any users can directly go to trading view website and directly apply this indicator and see when buy and sell indicator 
or when buy and sell signal has appeared so whenever the rules are met buy signal would appear whenever the sell signal appears it means that we need to exit the stock so for an example i have taken a bank of baroda chart here so this chart has given me a buy signal around 17th october which is now 17th october that week it has given a buy signal because that week's weekly close is greater than last two weeks high price so we would have executed this particular order next week that is on 24th of october on monday morning we would have executed this order because the weekly close has been higher than last two weeks high price so the entry price would have been around 144 rupees and still we would have hold on to this bank of baroda share now currently it trades around 190 levels so we'd have been in a very good profit where entering at around 145 so if you go to this trading view you can click on this pine editor and you would be seeing the the list of codes that i have written it is nothing complex i've just mentioned what is the last two weeks high price and what is two weeks low price and whenever you know the weekly close is above last two weeks high price go long and whenever weekly close is below last two weeks low price goes i mean go short or sell it that is the rules so let's see how you can you know easily use all these buy sell indicators from no trading view so all you have to do is you know just go to tradingview.com and you know, log in with your user ids and once you, you know log into trading view there will be an option to select indicators and and also you don't really need you know premium version you can use still use free version and easily able to find the buy and sell level signals here so just go to indicators here and then here you can just look for weekly breakout so i have mentioned like weekly breakout kribakaran my name here so just select the script and once you select the script then it, it would be applied into the chart so you would be easily able to see the list of buy and sell signals for an example the currently we are seeing access bank so access bank generated a buy signal so on 21st of november so which means that that week access bank weekly close was higher than last two weeks high price so it gave a clear cut buy signal here so by monday morning the next week after the signal appeared the next week monday morning when market opens we would have gone long so we would have gone long but by around 880 levels and now bank no access bank is trading around 930 levels so it would be still in a very good profits so you don't need to you know manually draw anything so all the rules has been completely inbuilt directly into the trading view pine script itself you can select any of the chart here say for an example instead of access bank if i'm selecting reliance reliance industries so it would show reliance industries here and it would tell you exactly when the buy signal came so for reliance industries the buy signal came on no last week's close price so by 28th november that week by end of friday it gave a buy signal and still that buy signal is open so you could check you know any specific chart here so if i'm checking for bank of baroda so here's the bank of baroda chart so here again it told me that the, you know, the long has triggered you no know, few weeks back itself so you could look for any specific stocks and apply this indicator there and it would clearly tell you when to buy and when to sell so usually there will be a lot of uh, charts or a lot of stocks that could give you both uh, no buy signals and sell signals and it would be difficult for you to choose what are the stocks that you might need to trade on so in order to figure out the list of stocks you have a you know a, a screener where you can directly go to charting.com and there you can look for a 52 week high screener so fresh 52 week high if you look for a search for screener it would display the rules of the screener where it shows what are the list of stocks where it has hit a new 52 week high so basically 52 week high denotes high momentum so we could choose these stocks where if it satisfies our weekly buy sell signals conditions then we could go long into it so this 52 week high screener is nothing but it just tells you what are the list of stocks that has hit 52 week high in nifty 50 segment and where the close price the stock price was anywhere bit no greater than 20 rupees so it basically avoids any penny stock and also it shows what are the list of stocks that hits 52 week high along with the volume is greater than 5000 so basically it avoids any illiquid stocks so if you run the scan then it would tell you like these are the list of stocks axis bank lnt britannia hindustan liver these are the list of stocks that are part of nifty 50 which has hit 52 week high so you could basically select from any of these stocks 
and go and check if the weekly condition satisfied or not if it is satisfied then you can go long into it so if you wanted to change the universe so instead of nifty 50 if you wanted to find out what are the list of stocks that satisfies these condition instead of nifty 50 if you wanted to find out you know from futures list then you can select you know, futures from the drop down and run scan then it will tell you what are the list of stocks that has hit 52 week high which is basically in a strong momentum and then you can choose any of these stocks from the list and you know, trade from it so this is the rules of the strategy so it, it is really helpful for you know, any traders who is trading with stocks where you know, where the capital is limited you could trade with cash segment where you can pick up you know, the list of stocks that is given long and go long in it and whenever those stocks give sell signal you can just exit it and the rules are straightforward where you go long when the weekly close price is greater than last two weeks high price and weekly close price is lower than last two weeks low price you just exit from this stock so in order to find which stocks to buy you can simply select the stocks that are near to 52 week high whichever stocks that it's 52 week high you can just you know select those stocks and filter from it and whenever you know the given condition is satisfied you can go long in those stocks since in cash segment you can't go short so you can simply you know exit from the stocks whichever is triggered long you can exit from it whenever sales conditions are satisfied so this with respect to this strategy you really don't need to spend a lot of time we are in on a weekly time frame just on a fridays or saturdays you can just spend 15 or you no know, 20 minutes of your time and just figure out what are the list of stocks that satisfies this condition and then be prepared to go you no know, go and trade it from monday onwards so this would be really helpful so by you know following this rule based approach on the long run this should definitely help you to make higher profits so this is what i wanted to convey so if you guys have any questions with respect to this strategy please post it in the comment section i'll address it thank you guys Investment in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing. Please read the risk disclosure documents carefully before investing in equity shares, derivatives, mutual fund, and all other instruments traded on the stock exchanges.